There were roughly 200 something pillboxes in Hong Kong altogether. Uh, we're not sure exactly how many because no records existed. And that means that we're engaged in trying to locate where all of them were. A pillbox is literally what its name says. It's a concrete uh, military emplacement that looks like a small box in which you keep pills. That's how it got its name. Uh, so basically it's a reinforced concrete structure with small openings in it in which guns are placed. This is a very strategically placed pillbox. If you look out of the firing embrasures, there are three of them here, each taking a Vickers medium machine gun. It's built for durability. It's quite well sighted in terms of invisibility. You saw the roof is covered with a mass of earth. And you can see in here, it's got all of this ventilation. These guys are almost subterranean creatures. Every firing point has got this Y-shaped ventilation to try to keep cool air flowing in on the guns when they're firing because they generate a lot of heat. The whole place is, is still in beautiful condition. Uh, much, I suspect much of this lime wash is close to original. It's close to 70 years old. It would have had maybe a full section of people. You can see these rings in the wall. They supported bunks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six bunks for people to sleep. Uh, out the back there, you've got a little sitting area with some little embrasures there. Some of those will have been for ammunition. Others may well have been little cook steps where people can just brew up uh, a mess of tea or cook their field rations. Uh, well, this is part of what's called the Gin Drinkers Line, called Gin Drinkers Line because it starts in today's Kwai Chung Container Port, which is built over a bay that used to be called Gin Drinkers Bay because, so the story goes, for the Guailos, who used to go out on boat parties, it was the first bay that you came to going out towards Lantau, uh, which was outside harbour limits, so that you could put an anchor down and uh, happily uh, start drinking gin. And so it was the Gin Drinkers Bay. And the line ran up from there, came up towards the Xingmen Redoubt, came along basically the same line as the Maclehose Trail, as far as Tate's Cairn, and then it starts to angle right, or angle southwards, down towards Clearwater Bay. And the last pillbox at the eastern end is in, I think it's Silver Strand Beach, or close there too. And then it linked back in a Y to the Devil's Peak Redoubt and down to Le Yumun. And in principle, it offered a line of fortification that helped uh, defend and advance from the new territories onto Hong Kong Island. It was one of the more glorious moments in the terrible first two to three years of the Second World War. Hong Kong fought hard, it fought well, and it fought incredibly bravely. It lasted much longer than Singapore, for example, with a handful of the troops. And that was a valiant moment, and every society needs valiant moments in its past to help it feel good about itself. Somebody could come with a bulldozer tomorrow, remove it, and pfft, just happens. Uh, in order for it to be actually protected, it would have to become a monument and say, right, here was the key point of the Second World War defences in 1941 in Hong Kong. Here we can stand and explain the story. And it will live forever for Hong Kong people as somewhere they can come look at and go, so that's what happened. Um, and it's the past, our past. Thank you.